Shall we play a game? Love to. How about... The OSINT game that reveals hidden helicopters of DC. Wouldn't you prefer a good game of chess? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let me start with a, a quick show of hands. Who here lives in the DC area? Okay, keep them up. Who has heard or seen a helicopter in the last week? Keep them up. Keep them up if you didn't know who was operating that helicopter. Okay, thank you. You are the demographic for this talk. You can put your hands down. I appreciate it. But for people who are out of town, um, I do want to illustrate the... Uh, all of the helicopters over D.C. have drawn criticism for endangering protesters, spawned a government accountability office report, and have even brought about proposed reg regulation in the House. So today I want to tell you about our project to attempt to demystify these helicopters for D.C. residents and the game we designed to aggregate this data for public use. So when you first hear or see a mystery aircraft, where you usually go. Flight Aware and Flight Radar 24, Radar Box, apps like this use ADS-B transponder data. This is a uh, flight safety feature um, that is mandatory in Class B airspace, most of major cities, um, and it stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. Automatic in that it does not require a pilot's intervention, dependent on a number of sensors, surveillance in that it reports those sensors over broadcast on 978 or 1090 megahertz unencrypted intended for reception by other aircraft and control towers but also frequently received by enthusiasts like us who upload that data to flight aware and flight radar 24 so that you can get that global map so this is where our app started as a humble adsb bot However, we quickly found out that ADSB data is incredibly limited in the DC area because of the Code of Federal Regulations that exempts government aircraft from using this flight safety transponder in sensitive cases, but used as broadly as funeral flyovers at Arlington Cemetery. So what is a person to do? Well, we crowdsource it. And this is how you play the game. Everything you need is currently in your pocket. Start by taking a photo or video of the helicopter, this will come in handy later, and then send it to at Helicopters of DC on Twitter. You can tag a specific type uh, using the helicopter icon like an emoji, or the helicopter emoji like a hashtag here. And crucially, give us your specific location by hitting that blue location pin in Twitter. This is the Lincoln Memorial, for example. That will get you on our feed with a map and the probable operators of that helicopter. And it will also get you on our leaderboard, which you can see some people have gotten maybe hard to catch at this point. Um, so if you are not using Twitter, congratulations. You can submit on map.copterspotter.com where you can see our interactive data set um, and you can browse it and filter it by specific operators that you wouldn't find on Flight Radar and Flight Aware um, and specific types. If you go down to the lower right, hit the plus, you get a form where you can submit anonymously government contractors. <laughs> and you can more specifically pin your location or that of the helicopter and backdate your post to something you saw yesterday or a week ago. We do have a family methodology for figuring out what type of helicopter it is. If you have a photo, you can count the blades on the main rotor. Those are the columns here. And then in the rows, you have the landing gear configuration. One and two front wheels refers to tricycles. Um, many helicopters are. However, um, you know, once you have thousands of user submitted photos of helicopters, you don't really need the methodology you create a computer vision program that automatically identifies helicopters. So now any photo sent to us, it gets a um, type, the probable operator of that type in the DC area and the confidence we have in that assessment. Couple metrics about this computer vision model. It is comprised of 17,000 annotated images, many more that are unannotated. If you wanna help with that, come tell me. 
Um, and so we looked at a thousand uses of this um, computer vision across since April when we started starting it, and it was uh, effective at finding the correct type seventy-seven percent of the time. Now we really benefit from having a data set that is custom tailored to our use case. So that means that the most probable helicopter here, the uh, Air Force First Helicopter Squadron's UH-1N Huey, responsible for VIP evacuations, and the most spotted helicopter two years in a row, comes back with a very high probability, and you can rely on that most of the time. The rare helicopters uh, we struggle with at the moment, such as the President's new VH-92A helicopter, um, which is undergoing testing. They have worked out the holes that it was burning in the White House lawn. Of course, we have a more conventional OSINT source for uh, presidential arrivals and departures, the President's Daily Schedule, which we scrape, and create cron jobs that tweet later in the day, so you can find out when he's going to join Base Andrews. So the going issue here is that uh, that uh, image images are not very useful at night. So we needed another data source, and it turns out even government helicopters have to talk to DCA Tower. So we deployed a Raspberry Pi on a balcony near DCA uh, to automatically uh, receive these radio calls and upload each call as a tweet to UFOs of DC. They're unidentified, but you get to identify them. And you find ones like this. Power 4, 3, 0, 2, 3, requesting uh, 2 to 1, 1 to the south, and uh, Route 4, back to Jason. That one's more approved. And you send that to our main account, and it builds an annotated map for you. So you don't have to read the F8 the helicopter chart, which nobody here wants to do, but that is OSINT. And it gives you very specific information about that operator. So this is a really powerful way to figure out the clandestine operation of your house at night. And uh, you get points for this, and you can do this anywhere in the world. So I'd like to talk about the elephant in the room. Despite a avowed commitment to the free speech in November, in December, uh, Elon Musk started banning flight tracking apps, ADSB Exchange, our account for 16 hours, journalists that he doesn't like. Um, so we don't have a lot of faith in this platform in the long term. So we are kind of creating redundancies over on Telegram. This is because um, it allows geolocation um, mainly. And so we have a bot there that you can talk to, Copter Spotter Bot. And it'll walk you through submitting to our data set or just getting your image identified. So let's talk about our data set. In 2021, we had 10,000 spots. And we're down slightly from that, probably because inauguration accounted for some extraordinary cases. Um, and here on this chart, you will see in that bracket the data that is available to you on conventional ADSB flight trackers. Uh, everything below that is novel data. The FAA is not tracking military aircraft. So this may be the most comprehensive data outside of the military on this. And where the helicopters are and where they aren't is very important. I ask you to look at the green, blue, and orange dots on this map of the week leading up to January 6th, where we see normal preparedness and training until the 6th, where DC police is the only helicopter circling the Capitol. Other revelations include this. And uh, Black Jack 2, we just had a near miss. I request you mark the tape, please. This is a Coast Guard helicopter reporting a near collision with another military helicopter, neither using ADS-B. And without a program like ours, this might just get lost. So... Here is our uh, information, and I hope you'll consider sending us your helicopters. I think I have one minute left, so I'd like to play a mini game with you guys. It's called What's That Agency? <laughs> this is the game where I'm showing the picture of the helicopter, and you tell me what agency or military branch operates that helicopter 
Laser your hand, we do have some fabulous prizes. All right, does anyone know what this helicopter is? That is not DC Police. Uh, Department of Energy, yes, they are doing radiation monitoring. This man right here, thank you. Okay, here's our second one. Who said Navy in this area? Okay, you, you're a winner, come talk to me after. This is a Seahawk, it's a Blackhawk variant with active radar underneath and the wheel is tucked up because the back folds in so they can store it on an aircraft carrier. Very cool. Easy one here. Army, okay, well, you guys all get stickers. Come find me. Um, yeah, this is the 12th Aviation Battalion. They transport three and four star generals. So um, this is my PDS moment. This project is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you.